wholeness comes from the inside out. So when we're living congruently with our values, there's happiness because there is that sense of wholeness. This wholeness is when the way of your being matches the truth of your being. It was so great being able to meet Junie. We met on an online platform, so we took a few minutes to get to know each other before we officially started the podcast. And there was some really interesting information and really great things that she shared and that we went into. So I wanted to make sure that our audience got to hear some of the profound things that went on behind the scenes. So I hope you enjoy this little midweek release. Funny, I was just listening to um, one of your episodes on the Enneagram. Oh, yeah. And uh, and I, I just found out I'm like an Enneagram three. And I was okay. like, everything you were saying, I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, I feel I feel so seen right now. And, yeah. and your message, you were just talking about how important it is to just sort of slow down and and like not have an agenda, which is the mode I'm trying to go in right now. And right. It was really poignant and like timely. Oh good. Oh <laughs> yeah. good. I'm just gonna lift this up. Keep talking. Um I'm so glad. I so is that the first you've heard of the Enneagram? No, I've heard, I mean, I, you know, I've heard of Enneagram for a long time. It's just, it was like one of the only personality tests I think I hadn't taken. Right, right. Like I've done Myers-Briggs and all that kind right. of stuff. And uh, yeah, so I I finally took the Enneagram a couple of weeks ago and I just, I've looked into it a little bit, but I really liked the stuff that you were talking about was definitely the most that I've said, oh yeah, that is definitely me. I need to chill out. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'll send you a packet. If I, do I have your email through the, I, I don't know, but I'm, okay. I'm happy to give it to you. Okay. Let me, I'll, I'll let me get your email and then I'll send you a, I have like a packet on each type. Uh, yeah. You were saying that that's so interesting. Well, I'm excited to um, get to interview. I was listening to your podcast too. And it was funny because I had had these questions and then right in your first podcast, I'm like, okay, we're on the same, we're, we're on the same page, you know, and I, I'm, so I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm, and I, cause I, you know, so the wholeness network, um, just some background. So the wholeness yeah, network definitely. is um, <clears throat> a little, we have a, um, our, our, we have our uh, library, we call it the Wholeness Network Library. And the idea is for people to have, we have a, a library of over 200 videos and, um, and we're hoping to expand that. And, and we want different, different um, experts to come and share their experience. But the idea is like, uh, when you want to move into a wellness practice or to understand more about these things it's kind of like where do you go and also like a doctor will say well you need to you know you need to you know reduce your stress you know maybe get into some mindfulness and then what what does that mean you know what I mean and so yeah it's one thing to learn about it and you and people can there's so much information to to um <clears throat> to incorporate that in your life but our idea was kind of like, you know, for, for me and, and my business partner, like really creating that daily routine, really to have it be part of your lifestyle. Um, you need to have something that's easy, accessible. So we have this library that we are, that it's all, our focus is um, body, mind, spirit, soul, or the mental body, emotional body, physical body, and spiritual body. And in all the ways that those things get fed, and um so just some background on so because I'll probably refer to this and it's like just my own kind of vocabulary so I always have to introduce you to it but so mm -hmm. for me when I talk about like the emotional body of course that's all our emotions that come into play right and then we have our mental body which is our thoughts and beliefs it's it's this part of us that um you know, it's not, it's our, it's not necessarily our brain, although that's complicated, but it's just our thoughts and beliefs, our physical or our, our spiritual body is that part of us that is, has meaning, you know, finds meaning and is connected. And, and so like, for instance, uh, uh, it's a, a, 
a wound in that spiritual body might look like a disconnection of some type, you know what I mean? Like a disconnection. Mm -hmm. So it fits in that because it's non-physical. It's not, it's not really, it's got a lot of emotions Mm -hmm. attached to it, but it's, it's different, you know, it's that disconnection. And then it's, it's not necessarily the thoughts and beliefs about it, but it's this connection, this, that we feel with each other. And then the discovery that all of those things are emotions our thoughts and beliefs and our connections and meaning really are communicated to us. And, you know, we actually experience them through the physical sensations, our physical body, you know, our, our physical selves. And so, and of course, then, you know, the physical body, of course, you can go into exercise and nutrition and all that type of stuff as well, but that, that, a lot of what that needs to feed and what I like about what you're kind of saying is that, it's much more than just that physical body when we, that physical body. And I liked how you had to look at those messages. What you also looked at what was going on in your life. You know, what, Mm -hmm. what were those kind of things? And it's tricky because we don't want to ever make people feel like if they get some kind of disease, it's all their fault and they did it. You know what I mean? So it's Mm -hmm. hard to walk that line. It really is. Yes. Yeah. Cause it can feel that way. I have felt that Mm -hmm. way. You know, I have a practitioner say, well, you're not getting that done. Well, what are you not listening to? You know, and it's like, blah, 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 like, give me a trauma one more time. Like, you know, like I, I, I know that I have a problem mm-hmm. and I need your help, not just to point mm-hmm. out. That. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so that's tricky sometimes. So I just, for me, I'm always just tender about that. Cause I feel like when people come to me, they're, they're, it's tender, it's hard. And so, and that's it's just really easy. Word. Yeah. Tender. So, and I, I say that because I, I hope, and you can help me if I ever say, you know, if there's anything that ever says to me that says, you know what, as a person, as a cancer survivor, that, that hurts. Don't say it that way. Or, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. it, it, I, I, I just get so frustrated because there is this link. There's a high correlation with trauma. Like I, you talked about it, my, um, within two years after a, a, um, a, an emotional trauma in relationships, women have a higher correlation to the cancer of the feminine organs than the gene does like it's a huge correlation Mm -hmm. and yet and so we talk about it but I never want it to come across like you created you know what I mean like it's your fault or anything like that do you know what I mean so I really hope that you'll help me talk about that in a kind and better best way you know that's respectful of that because No, that's great that you bring that perspective because I can be the type, the way that my brain works, like it helps me feel like I'm more in control. If I feel like there's a reason it doesn't come back on a, like, this is your fault. You should be shamed so much. Um, but it does for a lot of people, a lot of people can really feel that tenderness. And I've kind of learned that a little bit the hard way on social media, even with just like using, when I talk about breast cancer, um, I use the word, you know, here are some ways you can prevent as opposed to saying risk reduction. And, Mm -hmm. and like, I had a few people reach out to me and say, like, when you say prevent, it makes me feel like I caused my cancer, which it's like, wow, that's not what I'm saying at all. But Mm -hmm. I see how the little tweak in the language can, um, can be, you know, really reframe things. Mm -hmm. But I think also, yeah, it's, it's a, we need to pay more attention to how we process or our emotions. Like mm-hmm. that's so key because they're like that, what you were just saying. I mean, almost every woman or every woman in my practice that's come to me for breast cancer stuff, I've asked them just kind of informally, do you have sort of a, a pretty intensive emotional trauma within the last two to five years? And they have all said yes. And I think that's really interesting Um, and I, and there, there was a study, I I wouldn't be able to quote it like, like exactly, but there was a study done on it and it, so there does seem to be this correlation and, and you having the background that you have and your perspective, obviously, you know, there's a, you believe there's a mind body connection. And I mean, just like trauma creates stress, which creates inflammation, which creates an avenue for, um, things to kind of go a little bit haywire. So we, I feel like as a society, we really need to look at how we're processing our emotions and my gosh, just making time to like 
take care of ourselves Mm -hmm. and be more loving because we're so incredibly hard on ourselves. Like that is, I'm kind of dealing with that right now. Just like, that's like why I was saying with your podcast on the Enneagram three, like just, you know, normal people would be able to say, Hey, I'm doing great. (laughs) Or some people would be, whereas Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm not as far along as fast enough. And you know, it's, and I think people are more prone to that than they are to be like patting themselves on their back, right. whether they're a three or not, right. <laughs> you know? Well, but yeah. if we talk about dis-ease, mm-hmm. then the opposite is ease. And I mm-hmm. think there's this piece of us that's like, well, it's not supposed to be easy. Yeah. And, and like, I can agree to that to a certain extent, but, but maybe that's something we need to consider, you know what I yeah. mean? As far as what that means, what let's, let's define ease because we're very well equipped with dis-ease. You know what I mean? Yes. Dis-ease. Yeah. And why not? Why right. can't it be easy? Because I right. think it goes back to the whole concept with, I mean, you know, one of the foundations of meditation, like the survival mechanism is constantly trying to find this worst case scenario for us. Mm-hmm. And, and we're ridiculous. <laughs> about it. But if we were just you know, if we were just a little bit easier on ourselves Mm -hmm. and, you know, recognize we don't have to be perfect in all things, Mm -hmm. I think it would be a lot easier for us to take better care of ourselves. Yeah. I really like the way you even put it into ease with ourselves. Yes. A hundred percent. And that's what, when, when we're gaining knowledge like this about wellness, that's the hopeful goal is to find a way to make things easier on us mentally, yeah. emotionally, physically, spiritually, you know, like, and, uh, so I appreciate, I appreciate that. And, um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed listening to your, your podcast episodes, the other episodes, okay. I think just, uh, yeah, I, I feel like people, this wholeness, mm-hmm. I, we've touched on it a, a thousand times, just like stop, give yourself, you know, allow yourself the opportunity to feel your own worth. Right. So that, you know, take, don't, don't necessarily wait for a health crisis. Right. Although if you do, okay. Yeah, it's, right, right, right. it's a really, it's like the fast track. Right. Totally. Lesson. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, you are worthy of, of mm-hmm. taking care of yourself. And, mm-hmm. you know, that's what I, I love to, to work with clients on that. And it's, it's great how it, it all starts to fall into place. Um, when you just open yourself to the journey and oftentimes the lesson is not the one that you, you set out to learn. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes, but yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, yeah. yeah. If, you can, exactly. if you can give in and just be like, I don't know, I think this is the lesson, but right. I don't know. The lesson might be something else and I'll, I'll keep right. an open mind. Feel empowered every day with wholeness videos, meditations, downloads, classes, and more by joining the Wholeness Library at thewholenessnetwork.com.